by showing them that what we're doing in the classroom is affecting their community and helping their community. They see its value and so they're willing to buy in. Even if the academics get a little hard, they're willing to work a little harder. Any problem isn't really a problem, it's an opportunity, right? It's an opportunity to learn something. They may not be the hero that rides in and solves the problem completely, but they can have a piece of it. They can be part of the solution. This could be right over there. You know, with our agriculture program and, and tying in the chores that they have to do, they live that every day. We are actually building playgrounds for the animals because we have found that they have been trying to jump over the fence. The kids really started to think, oh, they're kind of bored. Why are they acting this way? Why do they keep getting out? They hardly have anything to play with. And sometimes they'll get on the watering containers. The one rain barrel, when it got knocked over, the goats started jumping over it. So like, well, hmm, I like that. What else could we make? So that's where we came up with the idea of maybe they need some playground equipment. Ladders here, slides here. Let's see what we can design kind of tie your engineering piece in and problem solving. We had to draw our own design and it had to be from everybody's idea. We're trying to build the model like we have it on paper but like in 3D. Now they're gonna build this model and then they're gonna get to see the actual thing built. Professionals will pick the best one to be put inside the barnyard. I had them tell me what materials they thought they needed. So they're already collecting stuff. Mm -hmm. Do we have popsicle, we have popsicle sticks, sticks? Glue. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with peanut butter. The other thing that we might want to provide them is a model animal so that they can get this to scale. This is how we're going to scale our model. If you are making something for the goats or sheep to play on, this should probably fit on it. When it's something where they know it's going to be out there in the schoolyard, they're totally engaged with it. This is right? Because there's also a sense of pride, like I helped do that. I mean, they're going to have this cool product at the end, but they hopefully will also remember we built models, we worked as a team. Who I don't think they would need a feeder on there. I got to use a saw, I learned how to use a measuring tape. You know, I know what a 90 degree angle looks like because it's over there on that playground for the goats and I see it every day I'm outside. Well, one of the standards for first grade is that students are aware of things around them. It's my to get the skin off. Oh. We have been tagging butterflies for several years. And then in the spring, we didn't see many butterflies around here. So we've talked to park rangers. They have seen that this area was low in milkweed. We talked about you know, what's happening with the milkweed habitat loss and our mowing patterns, the climate shifting, all of that that's playing in. And they really understood it. You guys are going to help us this year by helping to plant their favorite plant. Milkweed. 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 Why do they need milkweed? So they can no, stay they, they, they lay their eggs. Give me five. All right. We've read both informational text on butterfly migration, fictional text, social studies. We have tracked butterfly migration on a map, all kinds of things. Math, when we put the milkweed in the ground today. Right. You guys tell me which one is three quarters. Okay. All right, so just about like this. All right? And then you're going to lay a seed right on top of that. Can you find one? Here, spread them out. They, they really understand that it's not about just what's happening at Crowland or even in Garrett County. You know, you can ask them, do the tornadoes in Texas right now matter? And a second grader here will tell you yes, because that's where the monarchs currently are. Good job. You need some seeds? I think they're starting to feel like the things they think matter, the things that they do matter, even when I'm eight, even when I'm nine because they're so invested in it and really engaged in the process, it really cements it. It's something that they'll remember. Yeah, connections to their outside world only make learning more meaningful and more purposeful and more lasting. We're teaching them to be people, important people, who can do anything they wanna do.